Praise God. Now, <clears throat> Sarah was carrying such a powerful anointing on her for wealth that you see that when Sarah is apprehended by the king, that as a result, Wealth comes to Abraham off that situation. Do you notice that there's a money moving transfer that's taking place off of Sarai this encounter with um what was his name? What's his nigga name? The nigga name Abimelech the Negro. What the nigga the nigga the nigga the nigga 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 Abim Abimelech nigga what was the nigga name this is Abimelech nigga It's got a scary name, Abimelech. You imagine them calling roll call and back time day. Uh, Abimelech. Here, present. That's Genesis chapter 20, verse 2. He took Sarah, and God came to him in a dream in verse 3 and let him know, Behold, you are a dead man, for the woman which you have taken, for she is our, our Abraham's wife. Look how God spoke to Abimelech, told him you are a dead man. That God is a bad... Woo, woo. You see how God talked? You see, you see the personality of God? He said, you're a dead man. Look how he talking right here. Look, look, at, look at the roughness of God. Look, look how he, he, he jacked up Abimelech. He said, you're, you're a dead man. You know why? Because you're messing with my boy. That's his girl. Even though Sarah was a little old, you know, she lived. That's his girl. No tingling, tingling, none of that. That's his girl. Watch this. In verse 9, then Abimelech called Abraham and said, What have you done to us? And what have I offended you? To such a degree that you have brought my kingdom under this great sin. Look at Genesis 20 verse 14. And Abimelech took sheep. And oxen and men servants. Uh oh he took actual people. Y'all know y'all saw homeboy X. <laughs> y'all know y'all saw him ask for the cash app. Blessed be his name. Somebody give him the daggone cash app. Let, 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 him, let them soul. They connected to me. Let them soul. Let somebody, let somebody receive their financial anointing in the next level. A financial miracle. <laughs> Shoot. They wise. They wise. They discern. They discern. They discern. They discern a divine time. They are ministering under such mantle to soul. Genesis 29. <laughs> Genesis 29. 
through Genesis 29. Genesis 20, verse 14, rather. And Abimelech took all the men servants, the woman servants, the sheep, the oxen, and gave them unto Abraham and restored him, Sarah, his wife. Uh-oh. So there's a transfer. No, but I like that. Let me, tell you, let me just tell you something. I'm joking around, but I'm just joking around. I like the fact that y'all don't make moves without me. See, y'all a different breed of people. See, y'all got my spirit inside of you. And that's why the bald head demons get mad. It's only the bald head demons. Ain't no angels get mad. The angels be laughing at the bald head demons. But because you got my spirit inside of you, you don't move without my, without my, my, because you submitted. You real Esthers. You real King Davids. You real warriors and righteous people. Because you know that God saying you're a leader, you follow their lead, which is white wisdom. That's, that's wisdom. That's how you know that you ain't good understanding. Because you're not making moves without Prophet Joshua Holmes. That's, that's how you know. That's how you know. When you start making moves without Prophet Joshua Holmes and then you slip up and fall up and toss him, please pray for me. Ain't nobody praying for your big head self. Get your big head self back in the... Please pray for me. I need to... to, to, to I need somebody to pray for me. Who can pray for me? Ain't nobody praying for you. This not about no doggone prayer. It's about obedience. Did you ever see Prophet Joshua come on here and tell us, please, y'all, come, please pray for me. Because I'm obedient to God. What I need you to pray for me for? Pray for me to stop the devil? I can stop the nigga myself. Money coming to me now. I'm an army all by myself. Well, I need you to pray, join up to stop the devil. I can stop the devil myself. I've been stopping him for years. Sometimes I beat the nigga down so much he take a vacation. I'm going to Syria. You ever seen the Syrians trying to fight the Jews? That Satan done left Prophet Joshua Holmes alone. He trying to go bully the Jewish people because they still blind. They still blind. They can't see. So they try to go try to bully them. Toss them, get out their land. They, but the land belong to them. I make Satan take breaks. And, ah, come on, let's get our bags. Let's get our bag, nigga. This, this nigga right here. This nigga right here. He just ain't going to stop this fool. I done tried to beat him in the head. Jesus said, remove the head. Let me beat him in the head a couple times. I done beat him in the head. He's still wide. What the hell is going on? What? I told Demons arguing with you, with each other. I told you to kill the Negro. You had a chance. I can't kill him. He's too strong. What am I supposed to do? I tried to... Give me the bag, nigga. Because you ain't doing it right. You not doing it right either, Satan. You told me to hit it like this. I did hit it. It still ain't work. They arguing with each other. Give me this daggone bag, nigga. You ain't doing what I asked you to do. Come on, get, 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 give me the bag. Jesus said, <laughs> if you build your house on a rock when the storm come and the winds blow, and I and all the stuff start breaking up. You still going to be standing planted, planted in Jesus. You not no sinking sand.
Sarah and Abraham got supernatural money moving for them right now. Let's go to Genesis chapter 20. Look what Abimelech said. Let's go to Genesis chapter. Genesis chapter 20, verse 14. So he passes all this provision, this miraculous transfer into the hands of Abraham. Watch this. So there's a wealth transfer going on. There's a supernatural money moving. Say, look at this. Watch this. Watch. Woo. I don't care what you say. Richard Millie Plain. <laughs> About five people gonna talk some Richard Millie Plain. Let me see that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go to Genesis chapter 20, verse 15. Let's go to Genesis chapter 20, verse 15. <laughs> and Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee. Dwell wherever you please. Uh-oh. Here's, watch this. You heard of a wealth transference. Here's a land transference. You heard of a, a wealth transference, but here's what you got to catch when you are a sower. There's a land transference mantle that you're going to wear. Isn't the hundredfold too? Jesus talked about it. See, when you sow in, there's an anointing for land transference. 